Ready? Are you? I was born ready. I came out of the womb wearing tiny little Go. golden wings. <laughs> Quite the Boy Scout, Clive. Tell me, would you be interested in earning a merit badge tonight? Do you know anything about tying knots? I probably shouldn't be talking to you. I'm a married man. Ah, well, I just so happen to like married men. Tell me about your wife. Well, she's beautiful, of course. I think, well, if she's so very beautiful, why are you here with me? Because she's always so tired, and she's always making lists of things for me to do. Maybe if you did them, she wouldn't be so tired. Oh, no, she can make lists for days. Go back to your mouth and how sexy it is. Uh-uh. I want to go back to these alleged lists and your nagging wife. Uh, I'm not talking about you. I didn't mean that. Can we try this again? So if your wife is so beautiful, why are you here with me? Because I respect her too much to do to her what I'm going to do to you. Oh, jackpot. You look prettier now than the day we got married. Oh, honey, and you are even more handsome. <laughs> I did push off in the bathroom. <laughs> You're funny. You're nice. I have always been nice. I've always been funny. Well. <laughs> Mom! Dad! Ignore her. That could be anyone. Bill and Claire Dumpy? Yes, Haley, honey, what is it? I'm gonna go get some shaved ice at the hotel next door with some kids. What kids? Oh, just some kids I met at the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm, I should go with her. Claire, and... no, you have to learn to let go. Turning a family vacation into a honeymoon takes commitment. You can do it. Eye of the tiger. Hello? I should at least meet them. No, I... that is not eye of the tiger. All right, Haley, honey, go and have fun, but don't get in anybody's car and be back in time for your grandfather's birthday dinner, OK? Thank you. OK. Bye. All right. Oh, God. That feels weird and good all at once. I know. I was leaning up against that nozzle a minute ago. True. 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 Right. This is false. No. See, I'm not going to play true for someone who's false. He doesn't... He doesn't even know the band. He's yes, not he a fan. Yes, he does know the band. Of course he does, because this is no. our song. You love this song. Tell him this is our song. Right. Tell him, Phil. It's not our song, Claire. Our song is If You Leave by Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Oh! Are you sure? Pretty sure. I sang it at our wedding. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, actually, he's the idiot. He fell in love to a breakup song. Ignore him. This no. is beautiful. I, I love it. I hate this. I hate this. You're so sweet and nice, and I can't even give you a decent anniversary present. I love you so much, and I feel like you just are never going to know it. I know it. You do I know, know it? I know it, yes. You do? And this is an awesome gift. You know why? Why? You just gave us a new song. Okay. I suppose okay. it sort of brought you back together, right? Yeah. Seems. Sort like, of, yeah. You know, rekindled fires of a dying passion. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Shot a ray of hope into this gloomy suburban life. All right, buddy. Just play it, Izzy. I think I just expected a little too much from this vacation. You were so sweet to try. It was dumb. <laughs> like you said, the thrill is gone. I never said that. No, that's over. But wait. Put a few seconds back on the clock. The kid still has a few moves. Oh, my god. I figured out why we couldn't have a honeymoon. Because we never had a wedding. Oh, my god. I still can't tell if you think this is lame or cool. I think it's incredibly cool. Looks like I finally get to walk you down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> you better walk me. OK, I'll do that. <laughs> We're here today to celebrate the renewing of the marriage vows of Phil and Claire. On this day, they've chosen to reaffirm their love for each other. You may kiss your bride. Oh. I present to you still as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Dunford. No!